Hi, my name is Rachel Donahue. I'm a water resources and environmental engineer on Lenovo's global ESG team. By now, you've probably heard that Lenovo is working to establish a net zero by 2050 target. Often, when we talk about getting to net zero, we focus on energy use and energy conservation. Today, I'm going to talk more about how this relates to natural resource conservation. Natural resource conservation can help us reduce our emissions, buffer the emissions that will remain, and adapt to the effects of climate change we're likely to experience along the way. Lenovo's climate change ambitions are aligned with larger societal goals to limit global temperature change to 1.5 degrees Celsius. But even this amount of climate change will impact the way water, a vital shared natural resource, is distributed across the planet. Some areas will experience flooding due to rising sea levels and increased severity of extreme storms, while others struggle with too little water due to increased water stress and drought. These changes will require adaptation to navigate. Lenovo has operations in many parts of the world, and at all these locations, we rely on water to support our employees, and in some instances for building cooling and landscape irrigation. Our suppliers upstream use water similarly, as well as in wet processes that are required to produce some of our key product components, such as semiconductors. In the last few years, we've begun to think about our water resilience and make improvements in this area. We're guided by our own water resiliency policy, the six commitment areas of the UN CEO water mandate, as well as CDP's methodology for assessing water security. Today, we're annually monitoring and reporting on our own water use, and we're assessing our impacts, risks, and opportunities in this area, all with an aim to improve our wa overall water resilience. I'm now gonna be joined by Scott Tees to learn more about what Lenovo's ISG business is doing in this area, including an innovation that actually uses water to increase overall operational efficiency, Lenovo's liquid cooling technology. Hello, my name is Scott Tees. I'm the general manager and vice president of Lenovo's high performance computing and artificial intelligence business, as well as a passionate sustainability advocate. Lenovo's learned a lot on our own sustainability journey. We welcome the opportunity to share our findings and best practices with our customers. To deliver products that minimize environmental impact requires that teams think about in the end life cycle at the start of product design. We give our teams challenging targets to meet for things like the incorporation of post-consumer recycled content, or even better, closed loop post-consumer content. We also give them challenging targets on energy efficiency. In fact, we have a goal to reduce our server power consumption by 50% by 2030. Many of our customers install dozens, if not hundreds or thousands of servers at a time. One can imagine every DIMM, processor, power supply, cable, and server came in a separate box. The amount of boxes and cardboard, pallets, and papers would be quite high. While our customers can choose how they would like their products delivered to them, about one third of all of our ISG products now deliver from the factory pre-installed in a rack. This is our version of bulk packaging. So the customer gets up and running very, very quickly. Plus there are big time environmental benefits since these systems never went into an individual box. We build these systems in our own Lenovo manufacturing facilities across the world. They come off of our manufacturing line, tested at the server level, then move directly into our rack manufacturing section where they're fully built out. They never see the inside of a cardboard box. Lenovo Neptune brings in so many advantages for our customers. It helps them unlock the maximum performance, the maximum levels of density, while saving large amounts of energy. In fact, 30 to 40% less energy than traditional air-cooled data centers. That energy means less CO2 being output into the environment. It also means less need for air conditioning. So for data centers that use evaporative cooling, they're gonna save huge on the amount of water that it takes to run their data centers. Well, thanks, Scott, for sharing all that information. For more ESG updates, check out Lenovo Story Hub.